Hello, my name is Jason Santos, and I'm the Senior Technical Engineer for Raw Devices. Today, we are going to install the APR control in a rooftop unit. Before we begin today, we have to make sure that a unit is ready for the APR control installation. One of the first things we have to do is lock and tag out the equipment. Uh, the other thing we have to do is recover all the gas out of it. Now, the next thing we have to do is start laying out our piping for the APR control as well as mounting the APR control. Now, there are many ways to mount it. On this particular scenario, we chose to use a F&M ring and just a pipe clamp. There are other ways to mount it. Whichever way works for your particular situation is the right way, as long as it's mounted. The APR control is heavy and it will bend the pipe over time. So we definitely have to mount the APR control. And it's as simple as throwing the APR control in here and we can tighten that down as needed. It would be nice when you put your APR control in and mounted that we leave the model and serial number exposed. You might need that if for some reason you need to call us for any type of uh, technical question. One of the other things you have to be careful of when you mount the APR control is the bulb length to the suction line right there. We have to make sure no matter where, wherever you mount it that the bulbs can actually attach to the suction line. Now the APR control can be mounted outside the unit, inside the unit. It doesn't really matter where you mount it as long as the bulbs reach the suction line. The next thing we have to do is identify where to cut the lines in the system. We have the discharge line, the liquid line, and this is where our mixed gas line coming out of the top of the APR control, that will connect to the suction line or the common suction line. We have to identify in the unit where to cut the pipe. In this particular unit, I've identified three places. One is going to be right here in the discharge line out of the compressor. The second one is going to be in the suction line before the trap. And the third is over here on the liquid line right down over here. Once you have those three places marked off and identified, then you can start by pre-cutting your piping to fit the APR control in the unit. Now that we've dry fit our piping, let me show you what we had done. If you notice, we attached our liquid line to the hard pipe to our ball valve with a straight port to our liquid line. Our equalizer line comes out of that valve, down through, and into our suction line after the discharge T, close to the compressor. Notice the Schrader core on this side of the valve towards the APR that will aid in recovery and evacuation. The next one we did is our discharge line, which is labeled discharge line. Brought it down with the core on this side through up to right after our compressor and the discharge piping. If you do turn these the wrong way, we did give you an access fitting in which you could recover from and you could put evacuate the system from. That's why we gave you that little Schrader T. All we have to do now is just braze it up. Be careful when you're brazing, you don't put any flames on the bulbs because that will break them. And let's start to brazing. We're about to braze in our discharge line to our CCR valve. First thing we have to do is wrap the valve. And we have to be sure we wrap it correctly so we do not burn the valve up because a burnt up valve is not under warranty. So we have to heat the copper pipe first, then we are gonna move our torch tip up to the socket, then apply braze. spraying all the joints with soap bubbles. What we did was we charged the system to 400 pounds worth of dried nitrogen. When we have that much nitrogen inside there, if it's a big leak, you will hear it. If it's a small leak, the soap bubbles should pick it up. I am installing the bulbs onto the suction line.
And that's how we install an APR control on a rooftop unit. We do not cover all the details of the charging and evacuation procedures. These are common practices for seasoned technicians. We believe that a seasoned technician should be, and usually is, the one to install the APR control. The APR control is applicable to a variety of units and applications. So each installation can and will be different. The APR control's factory suction pressure set point is 118 pounds. In order to hear the APR control function, the suction pressure must be below the APR control's set point. If the suction pressure is above the APR control's set point, you will not hear the APR control function. This is perfectly normal. The APR control set point is set for low load conditions. If you feel the set point will not work in your situation, please check out our adjustment video to adjust your APR control to fit your needs. If you have questions specific to your application, please give us a call. Here at Raw Devices, we pride ourselves in our customer service. There's always a human being answering the phone and you can be in touch with tech support immediately.